What's up guys? So we got this brand new Porsche Cayenne getting tinted. And while it's in here, I'm gonna do a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. So more and more cars are coming from the factory with tint on the back windows in the glass factory tint. And I've just always wondered, is it actually doing anything or is it just for aesthetics? Um, so we're gonna do a test. We're putting 70% ceramic tint on the back window. The front window doesn't have anything. It's completely clear. We're gonna be putting 35% ceramic tint on that. But before we do, we're gonna pull the infrared lamp in and it's already on up to temperature. We're gonna pull it in and put it at exactly the same distance. And we're gonna have this little PPF card on the inside of the glass. And it's gonna be at exactly the same distance. We're gonna measure the temperature that this gets through the untinted window, through the factory tinted window. And then after we tint both of them, we're gonna retest it in exactly the same conditions and see, is this actually blocking any heat? And is doing even just the light 70% ceramic on top of it, which won't really change the look of the car, but is actually gonna make it functional. Is that actually worth it? Because like I said, we get a lot of customers in with these new cars and they just say, oh, I just want the front two tinted. And I really wanna see, is it worth like talking to them about getting ceramic tint on the back windows as well? Um, yeah, let's start the test. About the test the untinted clear front window. Um, we're gonna do a starting temp on this wrapped card, 76, 75.7, sort of like right there. And then I'll put it tent gun width away. Heat lamp is already up to tent. Gonna pull this thing in about 12 inches away from the glass. So, yep, top of it's right there at 12 inches. Gonna start the clock. I'm gonna do the first measurement at three minutes. All right, guys, so we just hit the three minute mark. I'm gonna take the first temperature reading. 85, so we are up to 85 degrees right now. I'm gonna put it back and we are going to let it run till five minutes and see if it goes up anymore. So we got 10 degrees in three minutes um, with no tint at all. All right guys, coming up on five minutes. Let's see if it made any more of a difference. 89.5. Yeah, so we're up to about 89, 90 degrees. Um, so that was after five minutes. We're gonna let this cool off for a second and then we're gonna do the same test on the back window that has the factory tint in the glass. All right, so about to start the one on the back one. So doing a test, 75. I don't know if you guys can see that, 75. Right, 75, same thing. So bring this in, same as before, about the same distance from there. This is like less than a minute from when we did the last one. IR lamp is sitting at the same temperature. And we're bringing it in. 12 inches again and starting the stopwatch. Coming up on the three minute mark, let's see what is going on. 85, 84, 84 again. So that's almost exactly the same as the front window. We're going to go over the five minute mark and do our last tests. 87. And yeah, 87.4. So I think that's about where the other one was. I think it was like 89, so a degree and a half. Um, so we're gonna get these two tinted. The other side's already tinted, so I'm gonna roll the stuff around while he tints this side, and I'm gonna do the test on the, the tinted windows now the, the same way. All right, so we're gonna do the same test. 
This front window has been tinted with stick, 35% ceramic. So starting temp, 75.3. Seventy five point two. Pull it in. Same distance. And then pull the IR lamp in. Put it exactly the same. All right, guys, we just rolled over three minutes. See what we got. 78. 78. This again. 77. That's barely anything. We're going to put it back on. We're going to let it roll till five minutes. Rolling over the five minute mark. Give it another test. 80 degrees at five minutes. 78, 79. So definitely, definitely a measurable distance, a difference in the ceramic tint. So now we're going to check the back window and see what the lighter 70% does, if there's any difference between the 70, 35% ceramic and the 70% ceramic. We already saw there's no difference on the, the factory tint that's in the glass. Initial reading, 74. 74.6, all right, pull it in, exactly one tenth gun away, and then grab the high R lamp, pull it in, and get this. 12 inches. Twelve inches from the glass. Start the clock. Guys just rolled over the three minute mark. Seventy eight point nine. Seventy nine. Alright guys, we just rolled over five minutes. I'm gonna give it one more test. Uh, all right, so 81 and 80. Guys, I think that was a pretty definitive test. Uh, after three minutes, there was like a five to six degree difference on the untinted and the tinted windows. And after five minutes, it was like eight or nine degrees. So it was only going up. Like if we would have done the test for 10 minutes, I feel like the separation and the benefit would have been even greater. Um, and that was one of the biggest reasons that I wanted to do this test was I get a lot of customers that are coming in and the back glass is already tinted and I don't like charging for something if I don't know that it works and I haven't tested it. So now I can like definitively tell people like, yes, the tint on the back glass is doing nothing. Like you're sitting in traffic on the way home from work, kids in the back seat on a road trip, that back tint is not doing anything for you guys. Um, and the other thing I wanted to show was you don't have to worry about going darker. Like you can go the 70% and it's not going to change the darkness and you're still going to get the same benefit blocking the heat. And like I said, minimum is going to be an eight or nine, eight or nine degree difference. And you will feel that I didn't have AC in here all of last month. And the difference between 75 in here now and over 80 like I did not want to freaking work in here. It just felt disgusting. Um, so guys, if you have a newer vehicle with factory tint in the back glass and you want to get some ceramic on it, hit me up. I just showed you it is worth it. I know there's a lot of people that are just like, I'm just getting a regular tint. It ain't worth the money for the ceramic tint. It's not just clickbait. It's not just, you know, upcharging or anything like that. I just did a completely controlled test on all different kinds of windows and showed you guys that you are going to feel the difference if you spend the money on the ceramic tint. Thanks.